Bien, yo creo que vamos a empezar eh, con los que estamos. Les doy la bienvenida. Les saludo a Sandra Reyes del staff de LACNIC. Y, I am bueno, Sandra Reyes, a, a, les doy la bienvenida a member of the staff of LACNIC. We want de, to welcome de, you to this session on Esta presentación um, estará a policy de development. Franco Cabrera will be uh, with us and Mariela Rocha. The uh, um, policy coordinator ellos, will give a presentation. Before giving them webinar, the floor, let me tell you how this will unfold. It's going to last about 60 minutes. Uh, you're going to have a presentation and uh, you'll have a chance to ask any questions you may want. You can write them down in the Q&A panel and they are going to be duly answered uh, by Mariela. And I also wanted to tell you that uh, this webinar is being recorded and in the uh, future days you will have, uh, you will have uh, the uh, different language versions available uh, on the website. So that's all I had to say. Mariel, I don't know whether I had to say anything else. If not, I'll give you the floor so that you can uh, welcome all um, the uh, attendees. Thank you, Sandra. I hope you can all hear me well. Good morning. Good afternoon. Sandra um, has us uh, already used to uh, these webinars. I just wanted to tell you that this webinar is part of uh, the webinars prior to the events. In this case, it's LACNIC 39. This is the second webinar before the event. Many of you already participated last uh, uh, week um, in another one. And this um, is uh, for information purposes. We're going to give you uh, an overview of the new proposals in the, for the next uh, Public Policy Forum in LACNIC 39. Now, Franco will uh, confirm the information that I'm giving you. And Franco and I are part of uh, the uh, policy staff, and we're going to give you an idea of uh, the new proposals. What I'm going to tell you now is something that Franco will uh, uh, discuss uh, more in depth, but it's important for us to consider that this um, webinar is only for information purposes. It does not allow any discussions for the evaluation of consensus of the proposals. Those of you who are familiar with uh, the uh, policy development uh, process, you know that you have the uh, public list and then uh, the forum uh, the day of the event. So today we are not assessing the consensus, but rather it's uh, for information purposes. However, well, well, we invite you to ask as many questions as you deem uh, necessary. You can ask about the proposals that are uh, going to be discussed at the next uh, public policy forum. I have something else to tell you. Please uh, write down your questions in the Q&A panel. It's uh, down there at the bottom uh, of uh, the display, the Q&A panel. Oh, oh, there we are going to load all the questions. And as soon as Franco finishes his presentation, we are going to read them one by one. So you'll get a chance to uh, um, uh, find any information that you need. I'm ready. Good afternoon. Good morning. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you, Mariela. So we'll start the webinar with a presentation where we're going to talk about the PDP and uh, the policy proposals that are, are to be discussed at the next public policy forum. But let me just talk about this webinar first. Uh, this is uh, this targets community overall. And we're going to uh, become familiar with the proposal that will be presented to the next public policy forum because it will you will be more prepared for the discussion. And this webinar does not uh, uh, assume any consensus evaluation. The consensus is only measured in uh, the policy discussion list and uh, in um, the uh, forum. So before discussing the proposals that will be discussed at the next uh, public policy forum, let's talk about the development process. The 
the PDP, the public, the policy development process of LACNIC. It's a, uh, a collaborative process that validates the creation and changes of the policies that the RIR applies to the region. This process starts when somebody identifies a need or a problem with the um, assignment or, or the use of resources in the region, and then uh, they submit a proposal uh, in uh, the mailing list, and anybody can uh, discuss it and uh, send comments. After a period of discussions and comments, there is a meeting um, of the community where the participants discuss the proposal in detail. Then uh, the chairs decide whether it reaches a consensus or not. If it reaches consensus, then the proposal turns into a LACNIC policy and it is implemented in the region. And finally, it's important to highlight that it's a process that's open to the community. That means that anybody who's interested may participate and send comments on the proposals. And as a matter of fact, it's a good thing if you do that because uh, this is a community-led uh, policy development process for the region. I just mentioned the different stages of the uh, policy development process, but these are the ones that are in um, the uh, PDP. Um, the proposals may go through the following uh, cases. The initial discussion is when the proposal reaches the policy list. Um, this takes eight weeks plus the forum. This means that a proposal is being debated at least eight weeks and maximum the time needed to be for it to be presented in the public policy forum. After the initial discussion, when the chairs determine there's consensus, the consensus, uh, we understand that uh, consensus is reached when it is supported by significant uh, opinion and there are no irrefutable um, uh, opinions against it. So this period uh, lasts two weeks, and if the if there's no consensus, it goes back to the discussion discussion, or it is uh, left out. And if it is approved, then it goes for, for a last call for the last comments of about four weeks. The aim of this step is to allow for comments by the community and. If uh, somebody missed uh, that opportunity in the initial discussion, after that there's a second consensus. The chairs uh, use the same criteria, and if great a consensus is reached, it goes to the next step that is a ratification by the board. If the board ratifies the proposal, it is implemented, and if it's not ratified, it may go back to the initial discussion or be uh, dropped. So now let's talk about the policies and the next public policy forum. Um, in, at LACNIC 39 in Merida, Mexico, from May 8th to 12th, we'll have uh, the public policy forum. It's going to be on Wednesday, May the 10th, uh, from 5.30 to 10 UTC. Uh, please consider that you can participate I, either remotely or in person. Prior to the forum, for those of you who don't know how it works, we invite you to participate of the public of the hands-on policy workshop that will be chaired by Maria La Rocha, the coordinator, and uh, uh, she will tell you different aspects uh, of uh, the process. It's going to take place on May the eighth, um, from uh, three to five UTC. This is only in person. It won't be uh, you available remote. So now let's see the proposals that will be discussed at LACNIC 39. For this forum, we have five proposals from a range of authors. The first one, the first is including IPv6 in the text of section five of the manual. This is the first uh, release of this uh, proposal. The next one is clarifying consensus and it's also the first version by Jordi Ballet. The next one is managing uh, uh, recovered resources with origin in the reserve for uh, critical infrastructure. This is the second version. And then uh, number four is uh, changes uh, to the uh, PDP. And the last is um, the impact analysis. Impact assessment is mandatory. Let's discuss each. The first is LACNA 2023 
two, version one, including IPv6 in the text of section five of the manual. It has two authors, Ariel Weher and if Ivan Chapero. At present, as uh, justified by the authors, the text focuses exclusively on IPv4, uh, not providing useful information for IPv6 users. So the rationale is making the text more relevant for the current uh, times of the internet, where they use both IPv4 and IPv6. The proposal seeks to update the original text uh, on uh, the uh, reverse DNS servers registry to use both IPv4 and IPv6. The next proposal is LAC 2023-1 version 1, clarifying consensus. The author is Jordi Palette. And the author of this proposal invites us to review the definition of consensus, especially for those cases or versions where there is no discussion by the community. The third proposal is LAC 2022. 3v2, management of uh, resources recovered uh, originating in the reserve for critical infrastructure. The author is Edmundo Casares Lopez. This, uh, uh, the proposal was already presented, and uh, the author sends a second version establishing editorial changes. The proposal establishes that the resources originated in the critical infrastructure reserve need to be reincorporated to it if they are recovered or returned. The next proposal is LAC 2026, uh, version 4, several uh, various changes of the PDP. The author is Georgie Pelle. The proposal seeks uh, to make uh, a number of improvements and clarifications in the process of uh, poly decision making of LACNIC. Some of the changes are editorial, ensuring that the changes go through a last call uh, term where the community can give their feedback. And they also propose uh, to change the word abandon for removing uh, to avoid any confusions in the interpretation and to allow for a better understanding of the process. And finally, we have LAC 2023 version 5. The impact uh, assessment is mandatory. The author is uh, Jordi Palais. At present, the impact analysis by the staff on a political proposal, on a policy proposal, is not mandatory, although in practice, the staff conducts it regularly to provide a view to a discussion. So the author proposes making it mandatory by the staff. So those were all the policy proposals that will be debated at the next forum. As I already said in the first slide, the discussion uh, takes place in uh, the policy list. If you are not subscribed, we'll give you a link so that you can do that. And we'll give you a link uh, to the policy system where you'll be able to see each proposal available at present. So many things, just as a, as a reminder, first of all, Public Policy Forum, uh, Wednesday, May the 10th, uh, from 5.30 to 10 uh, UTC. Um, uh, you can participate either remotely or in person. Monday the 8th, um, uh, hands-on uh, policy workshop uh, from uh, 15 to 17 UTC in person. I want to highlight that your participation is absolutely crucial because everything that has to do with the way LACNIC manages the numeric resources, the number of resources, have to do with the community. So this is what we're going to discuss in the next forum. Do you have any questions? Please put it in the Q&A panel. Thank you very much, Franco, for this summary. You know, this is something that was not mentioned regarding the Q&A, but in, maybe we can include the links you mentioned in the slides. Maybe we can include those links in the chat so we can copy it. So we'll do that shortly. And in the meantime, I'd like to make a couple of comments. As you saw, there is a large variety of proposals, some proposals are submitted for the first time. These are versions number one, like Franco mentioned. Other, proportion, other proposals, sorry, 
are in versions two or five. Other proposals modify the way in which the RIR manages a number of resources and other proposals have to do with the policy development process, the process as such when submitting proposals. So what we propose is that after this summary made by Franco, these presentations will be available in the events website and you can look up in the policy site. Could you please write the, the link in the chat, please? So there, in that link, you will find a section which is policy list. And if you select those under discussion, you can filter that. You will find the five proposals that Franco has just introduced. You can select the language of your choice and read the different proposals. So having said that, we invite you to take part in the discussion, both in the forum remotely or in person. Those who are at the event will go up to the microphones in the conference room and those who participate remotely can use the Zoom platform, which will be enabled so that you can express your opinion when these proposals are being discussed. The discussion of these proposals doesn't necessarily end on the day the forum takes place. So in the following week, you can ask your state your opinion. Some policies haven't gone through the eight weeks, the required eight weeks. So all opinions expressed during the forum are open until it is announced in the list that a given proposal reached the eight week discussion period that it went through the forum and goes on to the first consensus, consensus assessment stage. So the forum will take place next week. The list is open at this time. And once and these proposals reach the eight week period, you can participate and state your opinions. The authors of the proposals are also available to answer questions. So like Franco was saying, all the policies that rule the administration of the internet numbers resources depend on you, on the community in general. So if there's no discussion, there are no proposals, there's no con consensus. So we encourage you to participate. I see no questions in the Q&A box. I'd like to clarify something. For all of those of you who haven't subscribed to the policy list and would like to express your opinion on the proposal and don't know how to do so, I just included the link in the chat so you can access the discussion list to see what has been discussed previously and express your opinion on a given proposal. That's a good point, Franco, thank you. So you might register to the list and you say, well, I don't know what was being said. So you access the file and with the ID of that proposal, for example, lag 2023 one version X, you look this up and see what the discussion was so far. That was a good point, Franco. So, so you won't miss anything once you register. And if you have any questions, you can check the file regarding those proposals. So I see there are no more questions. So that would be all for today. We look forward to seeing you at the forum. We will be there and we encourage you really to 
participate. Carmen Diaz said, well, everything is very clear. Congratulations, Franco and Mariela. Thank you for this webinar. It's very important that you have all the information. So you won't be missing information. Thank you for joining us today. So goodbye, see you next week. Thank you, Sandra. Thank gracias, you, George. Mariela. Goodbye. Gracias, Franco. Y gracias a todos por habernos acompañado. Gracias, thank en you, este Mariela. Webinar. Thank you, Franco. Nos vemos entonces muy pronto en la CNIC 39. Soon Nos esperamos. At 39. We look forward to seeing you. Goodbye.